Hey everybody, so I want to talk about Ryan Strom here, who's a really interesting player for the New York Rangers. He's, you know, not had the easiest start to his career, uh, but he, lately he really looks like he's found a home with the New York Rangers, and, and he, this season he's absolutely having a breakout season where it seems like Ryan Strom has finally arrived at the NHL level. So before we get into the video, I just quickly want to remind everyone to please hit that like button and give the video a thumbs up. That greatly helps out the channel. And if you're new, to please subscribe and follow along for all my hockey content this season and all year round. So Ryan Strom is 26 years old. He was drafted fifth overall by the New York Islanders back in 2011. And Strom had a really, has had a very, very interesting, at times disappointing, and overall, uh, just noteworthy, you know, interesting to look at career so far uh, in the NHL. And when you look at, um, it took him, he was drafted in 2011. It took him a few years to get to the NHL level. His first uh, career games came in 2013-14, but he played 37 games that year and had 18 points with the Islanders. And, you know, that was a decent introduction to the league for, for Ryan Strom. His first full season in the NHL came the next year in 2014-15, and he actually had a very, very good season with New York. He had 17 goals and 33 assists for 50 points in 81 games, and he was plus 23 on the season. And for, you know, for a fifth overall pick, that's when Islanders fans really looked at him and went, okay, we've got something here with this kid. He, he can be, you know, he looks like he's going to be a good, good player. Unfortunately for Strom and the Islanders, it was pretty much all downhill from there um, at, it, with him in New York. Um, the next season, he had a brutal, brutal year, played 71 games, only had eight goals and 20 assists for 28 points. Re I mean, huge decline, almost cut his point totals in half. Um, really, really struggled that year. And then the following season, he didn't really get it back going. He had played 69 games. Uh, he scored 13 goals and 17 assists for 30 points. And at that point, the Islanders, he got started, he, people started labeling him a bust and, and the Islanders were kind of done with him. They ended up trading him to the Edmonton Oilers for Jordan Eberle, um, in a, in a move that I think certainly worked out for the Islanders because Strom was, you know, obviously not becoming the player that they thought he would in New York. And Jordan Eberle has ended up being a, a very, very good player for the New York Islanders and a big reason why they're as good as they are today. Um, but he ends up going to Edmonton and Edmonton took a chance on him. They were hoping that a change of scenery would would really help him out and, and you know get him back to that 50 point player that he was in his first full season and it didn't really work out with the Edmonton Oilers either he played all 82 games in 2017-18 he didn't have a terrible year but he only had 13 goals 21 assists for 34 points and it looks like he was destined to just be like a career third liner everyone started throwing the bust label on him um and it it really didn't look good. It looked like he was probably, um, you know, just never going to live up to that fifth overall draft position. And then in 2018-19, last season, he started the year with the Edmonton Oilers, and, and he was absolutely horrible. Um, he only had two points in the first 18 games with the Oilers, not got nothing going offensively, absolutely terrible. Um, and then he was traded to the New York Rangers. And and this ended up being a career changing move for for uh, Ryan Strom. And looking at how things are going this year, um, he, you know, a, a career saving potentially move for for Ryan Strom. Last season in 63 games with the Rangers, Strom scored 18 goals, 15 assists for 33 points. Um, and and I know the point total is not massive, but that 18 goals is was really really important. And uh, we saw him get almost to 20 last year. And again, that's the most goals he's had in a season uh, in his career. His previous high was that great 50-point season in his first full year in the NHL. He surpassed the 17 goals from, last, from that season last season. And now this year, he is finally looks like he's arrived. He's having a breakout season. Uh, Strom's played top six center minutes. Um, 
he really when when Mika Zibanejad was out, Strom was the really the top center in uh in New York this year with the Rangers. And now that Zibanejad's back, he's back in a second line role, but he's playing a top six role. He's scoring. He's got the offense going through 24 games so far this season with the New York Rangers. He's got 23 points. So he's almost been a point per game player. The first time in his career, he's ever really been close to a point per game player. He's got six goals on the year and 17 assists. So Ryan Strom, after years of kind of floundering around being a you know, having a great start with the Islanders and then really falling off and, and ending poorly there, really falling flat on his face and hitting rock bottom with the Edmonton Oilers. Now with the New York Rangers, Strom's career has new life. He's having a breakout year, and it looks like he's finally found a home in the NHL, a, a, um, a lineup that he fits in very well with and that he plays well with. And, um, you know, I think... Ryan Strom could be the ultimate late bloomer. He's he's 26 years old now. Usually, especially nowadays, I mean, we expect guys to be, by like 2021, 20, you've got to be like ready in, in a good NHL player. And Strom, Strom struggled for a lot of years and, and never could seem to get it going. But, um, you know, th this, this year, you know, teams never gave up on him. He seemed to always... You know, even though he bounced around a few teams, he got a chance. And now it seems like he's taking it full advantage of that chance and that opportunity. And, and he is playing very, very well for, for the New York Rangers this year. And I think he's, he's finally found a home. Ho I hope for his sake that this continues. And um, he, he's turned out, I think he's finally arrived at the NHL level. He's playing, uh, you know, Maybe not necessarily like you would, you know, expect a top five pick to. He's not like a superstar or anything like that. But he's he's finally playing at a high level. He's finally, you know, consistently putting points on the board and, and finally, you know, living up to being a first round pick in the NHL. So it's good to see for Ryan Strom. It's been a long, difficult road to get here. But but uh, I think he's finally arrived and he looks like a really, really strong player for the New York Rangers. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.